Welcome to the realm of reality. Today we are going to talk about cosmic reality. In philosophical words, cosmic reality can be understood as something yet nothing. To understand this scientifically we need to take references from modern physics concepts like the theory of relativity and quantum physics and relate them. So without wasting any further time let's get started. Theory of relativity. Relativity is made up of two interrelated theories given by Albert Einstein namely special relativity and general relativity in the years 1905 and 1915. Special relativity is a theory of the structure of space-time. Space-time is a mathematical module that combines three dimensions of space and one dimension of time into a single four-dimensional manifold, which makes our world a four-dimensional reality. A point in space-time is called an event and is described using three dimensions of space and one of time. Special relativity gives us the famous energy mass equation A equals mc square. The major takeaway of special relativity is that we all are moving through space and time simultaneously. The faster you move through space the slower you move through time and vice versa. To experience this effect the observer needs to have a speed near the speed of light, that is when the observer can experience his clock ticking slower than usual. And gave rise to concepts like time dilation, length contraction, and relativity of simultaneity which is two events, simultaneous for one observer, may not be simultaneous for another observer if the observers are in relative motion. General relativity explains the law of gravitation and its relation to other forces of nature. It applies to the cosmological realm. The general theory of relativity can be summed up in just a few words. Space-time tells matter how to move. Matter tells space-time how to curve and rotating masses drag along the space-time around them. This gave rise to concepts like gravitational time dilation, gravitational lensing which in general is light deflection due to gravity and metric expansion of space says that the universe is ever expanding. Quantum physics. Quantum physics is the study of matter and energy at the most fundamental level. It aims to uncover the properties and behaviors of the very building blocks of nature. Generally, experiments are done using single particles in quantum physics. We will understand quantum physics through a double-slit experiment. The double-slit experiment was first used in 1802 by Thomas Young to prove that light is a wave by showing the interference pattern created by passing light through two slits. Later in 1900, Max Planck suggested that light and other types of radiation come in a discrete amount known as quanta in his Planck's quantum theory. One of the breakthroughs proposed by Albert Einstein in 1905 was the quantum theory of light, which posited light is made up of small particles, known as photons, and these quantum particles can show wave-like properties. It states that light energy is related to the oscillation frequency of the photon. In year 1927 Davison and Germer demonstrated that an electron shows the same behavior as a photon, which was later extended to atom and molecule. When scientists tried to send photons one by one, it was expected that the photon will pass through the first slit and reach the second slit in the same trajectory but in reality, it would still make an interference pattern, something weird is going on. Photon seems to know where they would go if they were in a wave, this is the same for electron, atom, and molecule. This gave rise to two phenomena, quantum entanglement and a particle superposition. Quantum entanglement is a bizarre, counterintuitive phenomenon that explains how two subatomic particles can be intimately linked to each other even if separated by each other. Despite their vast separation, a change induced in one will affect the other and the exchange of information in entanglement is even faster than the speed of light in a vacuum, Einstein called this act, spooky action at a distance. The ability of a quantum system to be in multiple states at the same time until it is measured is a phenomenon known as the superposition of a particle. The superposition of a particle is the fundamental law of quantum mechanics. The double-slit experiment gets weirder when scientists placed a detector to track the trajectory of the particle and suddenly the interference pattern disappears. This means the very act of observation collapses all the possibilities into one reality. The act of observation disturbs the quantum state, so it is impossible to examine the phenomena. Finally, time to relate the theories. After spending 4 minutes in the video understanding about theory of relativity and quantum physics, you are at a new event in space-time as compared to 4 minutes before without any change or minimal change in a position physically. Space and time in space-time are entangled with one another such that it holds the fabric of space-time and is constantly exchanging information as rotating masses drag along the space-time around them. We observe only one reality because we are ourselves the observers, which leads to the collapse of all the possibilities, and only one possibility converts to reality. This can be understood as entanglement in space-time and we can only see one reality which is led by our senses and brain. Think of this in the way the time and space you use to achieve the reality that you are living today and yes this reality can be converted to another reality but only by making new neural patterns in the brain, which requires time and can be done through practicing different technique, meditation being the most efficient.
more about the brain, neural patterns, and meditation in upcoming videos. If we relate the superposition phenomena with the theory of relativity, we can conclude that any kind of observation of space-time collapses the superposition of the space-time into one reality. Also, the superposition is collapsed for the observer to perceive reality, but behind the scenes, space-time is always in superposition. Now, scientifically also we can say the cosmos is something in present but nothing in the past or future. We hope this video has served you as quality fuel for your thoughts and on the same note if you enjoyed watching this video, do like and share the video and subscribe to our channel Realm of Reality for more content like this.